I started my laboratory in Children's Hospital in the beginning of 2000. The focus of my laboratory is trying to understand why injured axons cannot regenerate after CNS damage like a spinal cord injury. So this has been a challenging question, both basic and clinical neuroscience, for a long time. Our laboratory uh, discovered two different molecular pathways that limit regenerative ability in the mature neurons in the CNS. So by manipulating these two different pathways, we can allow the neurons to regain the regenerative ability. After injury, they will be able to regenerate axons. So now our uh, focus is trying to continue from this line of research to promote uh, function recovery in animal with spinal cord injury. We know in the uh, peripheral nervous system, uh, injured axon are able to regenerate. So people consider maybe you know the, uh, the difference between the peripheral and the central nervous system might be due to the environment difference. On the other side, we also know in the embryonic stage, axons can grow, but not in the adults. So that lead to the hypothesis, maybe uh, mature neurons in the adults lose the intrinsic capacity. Our approach is trying to take it more systematically to solve the question one by one. Uh, hopefully, in the end, we can find the strategy to promote functional recovery. The spinal cord injury research is a pretty big community. However, half of them pretty much focus on the clinical uh, aspect to look into you know, how to take care of the patient, uh, you improve the uh, life of the patient. For example, rehab is a really big part of the spinal cord research. Our research has been pretty much focused on the basic question, but we, we would like to you know, to understand why axons cannot regenerate in hope we can design a way to promote regeneration to repair the spinal cord. So the grant from Travis Roy Foundation was enable us to start a project to look at the functional reconnection of regenerating axons by a new technology called optogenetics. Because the key pathological event of a spinal cord injury is the disconnection between the spinal cord and the brain. So idea, uh, therapeutic strategy will be to reconnect that. Uh, to do that, we think at least the four steps might be necessary. The first step, we need to reactivate injured axons to regrow. Then we need significant amount of the axons to cross the lesion site. Those axons once get to the caudal spinal cord, they have to be reconnected or form synapses with the neurons in spinal cord. Finally, uh, the, the signals carried by regenerating axons need to be integrated to the local circuit uh, to control locomotion. So far, by genetic manipulation, we believe we achieved the first step of the neural repair, meaning uh, reactivated the intrinsic ability of the injured axons. So now our research has been focused on to promote, to allow the more axons to cross the lesion site and to promote their connection with the neurons in the caudal spinal cord. Even though with uh, our success, not all of axons are able to regenerate, we're still trying to identify new molecular pathways to promote axon regeneration. So one approach we are taking is to promote the more mitochondria, which is power supply of the neuron, to move into the axon terminal. So we are looking at mitochondria inside an axon that is regrowing after injury? We have been established this in vitro assay to visualize movement of mitochondria in live cells. So in, in that way, we can screen the molecules or the drugs to see which treatment could promote uh, mitochondria movement to injured axons. So that might allow us to develop the new strategy to promote axon regeneration. We think one of the important area in spinal cord research is to have a systematic, non-biased way 
to look at the functional outcome. So the approach that we are taking right now is using different assay system and to look at the behavior in uh, all aspects of the locomotion, including weight bearing and the coordination between the left and right and the forelimb and the high limb uh, and the, between uh, trunk and the tail. So we think that will provide a more comprehensive assessment of uh, locomotion. Most expensive part is animal care. Maybe that's a surprising, but for spinal cord injury research, we have to keep those animals for a really, really long time. Our research might be also beneficial to other diseases, uh, for example, stroke and the traumatic brain injury, because this disease and other diseases also share similar pathological event, which is uh, damage of the axons. So if we can find a way to promote axon regeneration and the reconnection, that it might be beneficial to those diseases as well. We'd like to thank Travis Roy Foundation because you know this is really important, particularly during the tight federal foundation periods. Private uh, foundation support uh, is really key to maintain our research. So we are looking at mitochondria inside an axon that is regrowing after injury. 